So let's go over how you can erase and procreate using the eraser tool. The eraser tool is located at the top right corner of your screen, located up here, represented by this little eraser icon. You could select it just like that. And with this tool selected, you can just swipe on your canvas to erase parts of your image like that. Now, if you notice, as I erase there, white is showing through the erased area. And the reason why is because if you open up your layers menu over here, you can see the background color is white. If you want, you could tap on that layer and then change that background color to whatever you'd like. And as you can see, it shows through the erased area. Or what you could do is you could just turn off the visibility of the background layer by tapping this little box right here to uncheck that. And now, as you can see, the workspace is showing through that empty space there. Okay, so let's go over some of the settings of the eraser tool. First of all, with the eraser tool selected, if you tap on it again, you should get this little list out here that allows you to choose a brush to erase with. For this demonstration, I'm erasing with a hard blend brush, but if you need to erase with a softer brush, you have lots of different options to choose from and lots of different categories over here as well. So let me tap on this to close out of it. Now over here in the left-hand side of the screen, this little slider represents the size of your eraser brush. If you bring it up like that, you're going to make really large brush strokes like that. Let me get rid of this real quick. But if you bring the down, if you bring the, the size down like that, you get much smaller brush strokes, as you can see here, like that. Now this over here, down here we have the opacity of the brush. So right now it's set at 100%, meaning it'll completely erase like that. But if I bring that opacity down like that, you'll get a softer, a softer erase like that. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and undo that. To undo what I'm doing here, I'm just tapping with two fingers. There we go. Let me bring that back up to 100. So when you're working with the eraser tool, the approach that I like to use is, uh, let's say, for example, you want to extract this subject right here. What I like to do is use a small, fine brush and go around the edges and then use a larger brush to clean up everything else afterwards. So I'm going to start with a hard brush right here. I'm going to make this brush size pretty small like that. And I'm just going to pinch to zoom and go through here and just slowly erase out these areas real quick like that. And if I make mistakes, I can just tap twice with two, tap with two fingers to undo my brush stroke right there. So I'm just going to go through here real quick and then just try to clean up these edges with the eraser tool. Okay, so now that I've gone through and cleaned up the edges with a small, fine, hard brush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. And now I'm going to go and erase more of the area outside of the tracing here, like this, using a bigger brush. Maybe not that big, maybe a little smaller. And then after this, we'll go through with an even bigger brush. Okay, so the reason why I did all of that is so that I can now take a bigger brush and make it much easier to erase out the rest of this image. Or maybe not the rest of the image, but a large enough area around the subject here that we can crop out a sample size if need be. So I'm going to use a larger brush now and just continue um, erasing out this area over here. Looks like I should probably be using a smaller brush because I keep clipping the edges there. There we go. Let me clean that up as well and get this out of here. Okay, there we go. Looking much better. Now what we could do is we can take an even bigger brush and now we could just wipe through the rest of this nice and nice and quick like that. Okay, and as you can see, we have finished erasing out our image here, and the subject has been extracted from the image just like that. Now, if you want, you can go back here and toggle the background color off and on like that. And there you go. That is how you can use the eraser tool in Procreate for the iPad.